Okay. All the setup is finally complete after... Jesus, how many hours was that? Like 10, 20? Several? So, after a bunch of setup, it is time to do the next part of the collection. Finally. So, uh, I'm here in Goldenrod City, but this doesn't matter because we're not actually going to be in Pokemon Crystal for this. For, it's time to get the Pokemon that are not available in Crystal. And the first game we're going to be loading up here is Pokemon Gold version, as my cat yells at me. Yes, a lot of hours, so. Welcome to Pokemon Gold version for the next part of our Crystal Let's Play. So here we go. Starting off, I, I uh, had to play all the way through the game here in Gold. Soloed it with Feraligator. Totodial. Because, easy. And, uh... Yeah, I just kind of have this for, uh... HM slaves, but, uh... That stuff doesn't matter. What matters is, in fact, we're gonna catch some things. So, starting off... I, I saved here in Lake of Rage, and we're gonna go to Route 43. And, uh, also notice a couple, like, version differences. Including, but not limited to, uh... No, um... Thing at the bottom of the screen when you reach a new area. It's just like... Nah. So, anyways, over here in Route 43, we have a few things to catch. First one being a Flaffy. A Flaffy is level 15. So yeah, the uh, the one of the interesting omissions from the Crystal, uh, I guess the Crystal Pokedex, or you know what you can catch in Crystal, is the Marie line. And uh, holy shit. I did not prepare correctly. Oh no, that's right, Floppy's electric. I got everything prepared, except for how to actually, like, battle these things and weaken them so I can catch them. You know, probably the most important part of this. Well, one of the most important parts. I do have plenty of Ultra Balls, though. I, uh, I slapped the amulet coin on for alligator and got a shit ton of money. Shit ton of money. Alright, one more acid and that should be good. Catch this Flaffy. Or we could crit and I'm just gonna go uh, fuck myself. Okay, cool. No, you cannot catch my Reaping Crystal. Well. That's that. Alright, Gyarados, you're up. Fuck it. Sigh. Okay. Well, at least a lot of the things we need to catch here are common, so... Giraffe Rig is another thing that you cannot catch in Crystal. And we're gonna catch it here. In Gold. Okay, that was a crit. Interesting. That was also a crit. Okay. Anyways, I have a lot of, a lot of Ultra Balls. A lot of Ultra Balls. I spent my money wisely, and by wisely I mean I just blew it all on Ultra Balls. Fuck. Now begins the fun part. Things just not wanting to be caught. Come on. Please, giraffe thing. Short neck giraffe thing. Please, I beg of you. Don't do this to me! I hate... Alright, just fucking... Stand there menacingly for alligator. I have not missed this. <laughs> I have not missed this one bit. Thank you, my god. That was stupid. 
All right. Anyways, Giraffe Rig, the long neck Pokemon. And I don't fucking care about reading the Pokedex entries, whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing a uh, video after all this is said and done, showing off all the Pokedex entries anyway, so. Alright, well we've caught one thing, and now I'm going to, uh, I think I bought some revives this game, didn't I? Answer is, yes. I'm just gonna revive Gyarados here. Uh, use a Hyper Potion to heal 18 HP. Uh, I don't know, Lone Wolf. That's something you'd have to uh, look up on Cerebi or Bulbapedia. Anyways, here's another Flaffy. Maybe I'll actually catch this one and not kill it this time. With a random crit. Thanks, Tentacool. This is shit. And of course, we found two Flaffies, but no Mareep yet. But then again, Mareep is actually, like, less common. Or Flaffy is actually more common than Mareep in this route. Um, I just kind of started here, because in case I found one while looking for the other two. But, uh... Okay. Oh, goodbye Gyarados again. <clears throat> Whatever. Need to get Frolligator out there standing, looking and menacing. Some cool and shit. Uh, that one completely over my head. Whoa, whoa. Completely over my head. Anyways, the saga of the Three Wiggles continues. Because, of course, they do. There we go. The saga is over, at least with Flaffy. It's it's a wool, it's a sheep. It's electric type. It's a thing. Alright, anyways. Now we just gotta find a Marie. Which uh If this isn't it, I'm just gonna go to Route 42. Oh hey, it's a Marie. I got lucky. Alright. Oh dear. Okay, uh, bad. Bad situation. Quick, level 3 could you go? Fly slave go. Fly slave, no! Alright, maybe don't randomly crit and kill this thing, uh, tentacle. Maybe? I don't trust Tentacle, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Actually, I think it knows Constrict. I could use that. Oh well. Let's just try to catch the Mareep. And I knew that was gonna happen. The Curse of the Three Wiggle. It never ends. Oh well. We'll get it eventually. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. Took two balls. Got it. Yay, we got the merry. Hooray. Alright, so that's that area done. So now, what we need to do is we need to fly one to uh, Mahogany Town so I can heal up. And two, we're gonna go to Route 44 to do some fishing because I had to go through pretty much the entire game. And by that I mean I had to actually beat the Elite Four and do the uh, uh, Power Plant side quest. Just... Well, I didn't have to do the Power Plant side quest, but it's easier to go back. I do that. Um, just so I could get this, go to Route 12 to get the Super Rod. If I can fish up one single Pokemon. 
It has a 10% chance of showing up, and I got fucking dicked by Cerebi. And I don't know why I did that, when I meant to do that. Thinking, like, Cerebi told me it was in Crystal. Guess what? They lied. It's actually not in Crystal. It is, however, in Gold. And I'm really hoping it's going to be the first encounter here. And it's not, because that's Magikarp. Okie dokie. I will see you when I hook the thing. Okay. Finally, Jesus. A whole 17 minutes later, and I finally found a Remoraid. God, that was annoying. God, that was annoying. Alright. Fuck. Um... Okay, I'm gonna cheat. Save state. <laughs> and, uh... Hope for the best here. Stop, stop, stop! Damn it. That didn't happen. Let's try cut. Maybe that's weak enough. It's not. Cool. Let's try... Uh, something else. I'll use this Pidgey as fodder, and then I'll try to, like... Poke it. Oh, it knows Aurora Beam, okay. Let's try Furret. I don't have a Furret. This is this is Pokemon Gold, not Crystal. All my all my stuff's on Crystal. All right, I seed. By the way, we're married is faster, unsurprisingly. Okay, good. You know what? That did more damage than I was expecting. I have to say. Also, incoming crit because it used used, uh, Focus Energy. Or he could just continue using Focus Energy, okay. Come on, shitty wild Pokemon AI, help me out here. Alright, shitty wild Pokemon AI is helping me out here. Took me fucking 17 minutes to hook this thing. That was a crit, damn. Tentacle the tank. Okay, you know what? That's good enough. It's fine. Let's just start chucking balls and hope I get lucky. Pocket creatures, team. Hey, GT effect. Oh. I got lucky. Okay. So there we go. I completely not... Uh, uh, completely fair and totally didn't uh, cheat with save states uh, capture of Remoraid. <laughs> I just didn't want to waste another 15 minutes trying to fish another one up. There we go, we finally have Remoraid. So, uh, yeah. So that's all the Johto Pokemon that, uh, aren't in Crystal. Now we have some Kanto Pokemon to get, and we're gonna go to the Kanto region to get them. So, uh, BRB. Alright, so, made it to Kando. Kando, wow, alright, Kanto, anyways. So from Cerulean City, we're gonna go this way to Route 9. And uh, we got a couple things to catch here in Route 9, and I'm gonna catch them, and it's gonna be a uh, grand old time. And before I have to, that's a trainer I have to fight. Let me, uh, let me just uh, try to maneuver my way. Okay, there we go. We'll use this patch of grass. And by the way, one of the things I have to find, 5%. So this might take a while. Anyways, our first catch of the day is going to be a Mankey. And, uh, fuck it. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to catch the other thing here because 5%, but eh, I kind of do. So yeah, here's a Mankey. I think it's actually more common in, like, a different route, but it's also very common here, so I figured, you know, kill two birds with one stone, just go to one area and get both. 
So, there we go. Easy. That was the easiest catch so far. Today. Eat the pig monkey. Yay. Alright, we got the monkey. Now, uh, we get to have fun and... Fun with a 5% encounter rate, so, uh... Time to spend another 15 minutes looking for something. Aha! There he is! Okay. It's a primate! Yes, I went to uh, search for a primate in the wild instead of just uh, catching another manky and evolving it. Anyways, um, so that took less than half the time it took me to find a Remoraid. The primate is had half the chance of showing up than the Remoraid did. So what does that tell you? Fuck me, that's what it tells you. Then we'll get the angry evolved pig monkey, maybe. Oh! I thought she was gonna cuck me with the three wiggle, she did not. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah! First try. First try for the primate, let's go. And with that, that is everything. Uh, that I needed to catch in a gold version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the mag magnet train back to Johto just because the Johto music is so much better than, uh... Look, I'm not paying an idiot tax just because I got lucky, alright? Ain't happening. Yeah, we're going to the land of better music and then we're gonna get everything set up. To a trade all the shit to Crystal. But we're not gonna do that just yet, because we've got a couple more uh, exclusives to get that aren't available in either Crystal or Gold. By a couple more, I mean literally one more, and also the other starter. Dude, the fucking Magnet Train jingle is like the best thing. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get everything set up and then, um,. We're gonna swap games again. Alright, so. Next destination. Pokemon Silver version. Because, you know. <coughs> there, there's, there's some things to get here in Silver. Now, I didn't near, have to do nearly as much gameplay in Silver as I did in Gold. Because I decided, since I needed to... I don't know. I just kind of went with Gold. Chose Gold, just because to do, like, most of the heavy lifting as far as, uh, things outside of Crystal. So, for Silver, there's only two things to add to the collection that I could not get in either. Well, technically I could get it in both, but first off is the start, the other, the third of the Johto starters, Chikorita, the grass type, which I didn't actually use because Chikorita is very weak early game. But, uh, there's that, so... All I needed to do was play it up to Route 36, which is where I am. Do I have Pokeballs? Please tell me I've had... Okay, I have... That, that's enough. So, I'm just gonna go in the grass here. And uh, we're gonna hopefully find our thing here in Route 36. That's a 15% chance of showing up, and it's the first encounter in a period. Okay, Vulpix. There it is, it's Vulpix. As a, uh, so yeah, Vulpix exclusive to Silver in the, uh, second gen games. Like, completely exclusive, and I don't know, I don't know what I expected there, but... I don't know what I'm doing here, but, uh, Chikorita is gonna get his ass fucked. Okay. Oh, hello? Speed tie? No, don't do that! It knows a roar. Of course it wouldn't be easy. Alright. Well, let's find another Vulpix, I guess, and I'm gonna put Pidgeot on the lead because fuck it. Alright, Vulpix. If you roar at me again, I'm gonna be upset. Also, if I knock it out with this gust, I'm gonna be upset. I shouldn't ha I shouldn't know. It's only a six level difference. Don't use roar. Okay, good. 
Alright, now, let's try to catch this Vulpix by using a Great Tabaru. Okay, there we go. Easy. Just, just had to have one more kick in the nuts, didn't you, game? By game, I mean generation, so... We've got Vulpix, and that's literally the only other thing we need to get in silver, so... With that, um, we're gonna swap back over to Crystal, and uh, we're gonna do some trading! Because it's time! Okie dokie, well here we go, everything is set up for the trading. So, if you uh, look at the screen here, we got, we got some things here. So first we have two windows because of the ability to actually like, you know, have two in instances of an emulator running, we can connect them together, and it's all good. Also, a little bit of audio glitchiness, that's, you know, whatever. Not that big of a deal. So, we got Crystal over here on the right side of the screen. So, uh, we have everything set up for trading. And uh, over on the above my face, on the left side of the screen, we have silver version open, so we're going to trade uh, in silver first. So just go upstairs here in the Pokemon Center to trade. We have three different areas here. We have the Trade Center, we have the Battle Center, and then we have the Time Machine, which we'll deal with later, actually. So first things first is we're going to uh, talk to the person in both games here in the C Cable Club Trade Center. Or the Cable Trade Center, as it's called in Crystal. Trade your Pokemon here with the friend. Would you like to trade? Yes. Please wait. Before opening the link, you must save your game. Okay. Yes, we can go ahead and save. Haha. -ha. Save. Please come on in. Come on. Jeez, what was that? That was a big thump. And unlike in first gen, you actually get in like escorted into a room instead of just teleported to your chair. So, we just take care of that. Now we wait. Note the different borders. I actually like the uh, crystals uh, background for the tray. Ooh, that looks nice. Man, they really upgraded the uh, the background and the borders for crystal. For trading, so. We got just a bunch of trade fodder here that I caught in crystal off screen. Well, during the stream, but didn't record it and stuff, so let's just trade the Chikorita and the Vulpix from Chris or Silver to Crystal. Let's do that. And now I can't remember if the, uh, if second gen has different, uh, trading, like, scene here. It looks like it's the same. In fact, it very much is the same in glitchy audio. I don't know. I actually have to use a dim different emulator for this, other than the one I've been using for the LP. Because of, um... Because of compatibility issues with, uh, linking games, so... Yeah. God, that sounds weird. Oh well. We'll be doing an in-game trade at some point, so we'll get to get the proper audio, I guess. And there we go. That is an awesome animation for Chikorita. That was a really cool animation. And because I never mentioned it, obviously, and you probably saw while I was catching things, but uh, Gold and Silver do not have Pokemon animations, or entrance animations, and I keep forgetting. My controls are mapped slightly differently for this simulator. Anyways, let's swap over the Vulpix now. So trade Pidgey for Vulpix, yes. That is exactly what we're gonna do. Ta-da! Also, an interesting thing to note is that Gold and Silver actually have different sprites for each Pokémon. Different front sprites, which is interesting, and then Crystal kind of uses the best of those front sprites. And also animates them. And... Bye-bye, Butterfree. Hello, Vulpix. See here, Crystal actually uses the Silver sprite for Vulpix. Hmm, interesting. I think Crystal uses a lot more gold sprites than silver sprites, because a lot of the silver sprites are kind of weird looking, but... There we go. We have completed our trading with Pokemon Silver version. So let me just, uh... Exit the actual trade thing. And unlike in first gen, where you actually had to reset the game in order to leave, here you can just walk out. That's all you have to do. 
and you can continue playing the game. Just like that. So now we has us a Chikorita and a Vulpix. Yay. Of course, I'll be doing plenty of breeding for those things to get evolutions and stuff, but uh, that's... That's, that's uh, not for now. So, let me just... Uh, go ahead and move Chikorita and Vulpix just kind of into my... Uh, Just, yeah, in fact, you know what? Fuck it, let's just go ahead and put them in where they belong. Because why not? I, I know the numbers of these two, so... Well, I actually don't really know the number of Vulpix, but I know about where it should be. And that is... I think in between Clefairy and Jigglypuff. I'm probably wrong, but anyways... I'll just put more fodder, trade fodder, in me party. All my actual team members in the PC. There we go. Got another full party of trade fodder. Ta-da! So with that set up, I'm going to uh, swap out the second Game Boy instance. Hello, cursor. Swap out silver with gold. Oh god. Oh, yeah, it's gotten really fucky now. Oh dear. It's gotten really fucky. Alright. Well, I hope you didn't want to hear uh, good sounds, because uh, you're not going to be hearing them. Oh man, that is bad. That is real bad. Let me just lower the volume on that some more. Anyways, I'm going to trade the gold version now. Glitched audio uh, notwithstanding. Actually, it meant nothing, but you know what I mean. Oh, that means i got to change this. Because now we're not silver version, it's gold version. Ho -ho. Yeah, plenty of things to trade from... God damn it. Trade from silver to gold. So we'll be doing that. Starting with Mankey. Okay, so I think the audio is done being uh, completely fucked. Anyways, we have a Mankey now. Yay! So, one trade down, uh, several to go. Several to go. Next up, Primeape. Why do I smell like Doritos? Because I just traded over a Primeape, that's why. I don't know. Uh, trade number two down. Out of many. I think seven with gold version. Thing is, if you're like showing my stream on your stream arrow, hi, I'm doing something very boring and monotonous. Or tedious, or I don't fucking know. Anyways, I'm trading stuff with somewhat glitched audio. Next up's for alligator. I don't want to talk about it. I like how all of them like blink like five times when uh, when they come over. They like and do their cry. Why is that so humorous to me? I don't know. Anyways. Next up, Mary. I have a Mary now. Meh. It's a sheep. It's an electric sheep, and it goes zappy, zappy, zap, zap. Okay. Two more trades to make, and then we have to have to go out, and then swap over one whole Pokemon back into a, uh, and do one more trade with gold, and then we're gonna do something interesting. At least I think it's interesting. So, <laughs> you annoying fish! Took me 17 minutes to find that damn thing, and then I had to sort of cheat to catch it, but I don't fucking care. 
I'd rather abuse save states than uh, have to search for another hour for that goddamn thing. Anyways. So with Remoraid now part of... Part of me. <laughs> Let's get a giraffe rig. Oop. Oh. Okay. So instead of blinking a lot, the giraffe rig, his frickin' tail just laughs at me. Alright. That was, uh... That was unexpected. So, we got everything traded over, except not actually everything. Just got everything traded over that I could trade at this point. So now we need to leave for both. And, uh, try to do this, like, play both games simultaneously without my brain turning to mush. JK, my brain is already mush. So. Let me just, uh... Do a, a do a little uh, do a little do do a little do here, and that is to uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. I'm just gonna put Mankey there because I can't be asked, can't be arsed. I'll move them in their proper spots later. All right. So I'm ready in crystal now. Just got to do that in gold. So uh, harsh biscuits. Yeah. So, just gotta withdraw the Flaffy. And then, we can go back here to the Trade Center and uh, trade the Flaffy over. Oh, I'm getting the Flaffy first, okay. And with that, there's the Flaffy. Blinky blinky. Sparkly tail. Fucking adorable. Alright, so, with that done, now we have uh, one more major thing to do in terms of trading. So, uh, first off, I'm going to get kind of just everything situated here, and then we're going to go back in time. Alright, preparations are complete. So, as you see, which I kind of fucked up, okay, there we go, as you see, now, over above my head on the left side of the screen, we have Pokemon Red in grayscale, because that's that's what the simulator does. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to be trading from Red. Now, for the sake of continuity, what I did was I actually, obviously this isn't my, you know, my Red save from my Let's Play, because that's on a cartridge over here, and not as data in my computer. So, what I did was I actually, like, the Pokemon that I'm trading over from Red, because yes, you can do that, um, are the same levels as the Pokemon, as they were in my Red Let's Play save. So, for the sake of continuity, let's just say I'm transferring some of the Pokemon from my Living Dex in Red version to be part of my Living Dex in Crystal. Okay? Okay. We good? We good. But how do we trade from, uh, to first gen, you ask? Well, that's what the time machine is for. So, welcome to the Table Cable Club to Time Castle. You can travel to the past. Trade with your Pokemon. Would you like to travel, trade across time? Yes. And let's just, uh, open the Cable Club for open the link. Let's save your game. And, of course, with using the time machine, you cannot bring any Pokemon that, uh, any second gen Pokemon, so anything from Chikorita onwards, please come in, let's go. Um, you can't bring attacks that were introduced in second gen, and I believe you also cannot trade any po or bring any Pokemon that know HM moves. So. And then once we go into the time machine, it's just like normal trading, except we're trading with red version now and not. Um, a gen 2 game. So, these are basically, the Pokemon I'm trading here from Red are basically, uh, oh yeah, that's right, two button prompts, are, um, yes it was trauma, but, uh, if you play it on a Game Boy Advance, like I did, well, technically I did, it was the Game Boy Advance hardware, but connected to a GameCube, uh, it displays it, it displays colors, not much, but it displays, like, in color. And also uh, displays it in color if you use it in the uh, Super Game Boy, I think. The Super Game Boy attachment for the SNES. 
So yeah, but normally they're in grade scale because you know they were original Game Boy games, so they're made pretty much made to be played in grade scale. But uh, yeah. So the point of doing this is these are Pokemon that you cannot get in second gen in any way, shape, or form, at least legitimately. Uh, there may have been like events, maybe, where you know you could go to a store and have this po like a Pokemon, uh, you know, transfer to your game, but uh, we don't count those. So. Basically, um, the only first gen ex there aren't many first gen exclusive Pokemon. The only ones are the Kanto starters, so which is why I'm trading over Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. The Kanto fossils, so Kabuto and Omanyte, which I'm trading over their evolved forms just for to make it easier, because you know I can just breed them, and that you know saves a lot of time than having to breed a different the new one. And I like the also you can see like the jump in uh, sprite quality and stuff when you uh, you trade from first gen. Even in overworld sprites, like how Charizard kind of gets his own overworld sprite. Yeah, look at that, look at that beastly boy. And uh, also the the Kanto legendaries are also uh, first gen exclusive, so be trading them over as well, but first we need to get the starters and the fossils, and then we'll do uh, the legendaries afterwards. We got Venusaur and Charizard, now we're gonna trade over Blastoise. So, I, you know, whatever. Anyways, here come the Blastoise. Again, I, I like seeing like the difference in all the sprites and stuff from first to second gen. Yeah, you wag your tail, Blastoise. You you do that. You waggy waggy. All right. Starters are transferred. Now we do the fossils. So starting with almost star. Again, all these things I can just breed to get the other forms. So it's good. Bringing mechanic is like the best thing that they added. To us, uh, second gen or in second gen, it's just like, oh hey, now getting basically doing a full living Pokedex is a lot easier now because I don't have to start a new game like 12 times to get each of the starters. I need to just get one of each and then breed. Anyways, we go from our dancing Omastar from red to that. Ba 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 ba. more angry than Groovin' now. Ain't, ain't so groovy anymore. And for our final fossil, Kabutops. Alright. Trying to fuck a Dorito. Why would you try to fuck an RX-7? What the heck, T-John? Says the man who would fuck a viper, but still, anyways. Here's a Kabudops. Kabudops Crystal Sprite is actually really nice. I like that a lot. Alrighty, so, got the Kanto starters and the Kanto fossils. Now I need to leave and get the, uh... Get the, uh... The, legend the Kanto legendaries. And then we'll, uh, go back in the time machine. Okay, finally got everything set up for trading the legendaries. Oh my god. It's gonna be a legendary series of trades. <laughs> Ooh, I did it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so first up is Articuno. So there's its very, um. Okay. Red Sprite. Now let's see the far superior uh, Crystal Sprite. Da, da, da. That's nice. It's not quite the pose I expected, but that's nice. Wouldn't play this because I don't have the patience. That's fair. That's fair. I mean... Yeah, you, you definitely have to have some sort of patience and also uh, a lot of insanity to play, especially turn-based RPGs. Let alone Pokémon. But anyway, Zapdos, next. 
So, uh, check out that crystal sprite. That's a nice crystal sprite. Both of the pose, just... And for the third and final of the legendary birds, Moltres. And let me tell you, Moltres' crystal sprite's gonna be way better than Red's. I don't know what the hell is wrong with his red sprite, but it's not good. But here... Okay, it's not that much better. He still- he looks like a flaming chicken. Okay, once we get to third gen, Moltres actually looks good. Alright, so, two more things to transfer over from red. First being Mewtwo. And yes, it's at level- uh, level 85. <laughs> Just like it was at the end of my red LP. Again. Continuity. I do it better than the WWE. Damn. Uh, that that was intimidating. And for our final trade from a different game, we transfer over the double glitched Mew because you know we had to uh, we had to do the trainer glit trainer fly glitch to actually get it to show up. And then we also did the uh, the experience overflow glitch to get it to level 100. And now it's in crystal. Yay! Oh, he's so fucking cute, man. That crystal sprite's incredible. And there we go. So once this Pidgey gets sent over to red, which it's already there on red screen. Ta-da! Trade complete. And there we go, we have traded, successfully caught and traded over all the version exclusives, or just things that uh, cannot be found or captured outside of, or in Pokemon Crystal. So with that, we're just gonna leave. Boom. And there we go. Also, something I uh, noticed when uh, moving some the other red Pokies around, all the uh, all the Pokemon you trade from first gen hold an item. For every for the starters in the fossil, they all had bitter berries. Articuno, apparently the legendaries have a bright powder. Yeah, all the legendaries have a bright powder, oh, except for Mew. Mew's got a bitter berry, which is uh, really interesting, actually. So, so that's cool. But uh, that's that. So. Um, I guess this this segment of the Let's Play is done. So what's next is going to be even more time-consuming grinding. Because um, it's time to fill our living decks with evolutions of stuff that we don't yet have. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot of Pokemon evolving. And that's going to be the next several hours. <laughs> of gameplay. In fact, we might as well just not even pay attention to playtime anymore. But, uh... So, yeah. Look forward to that whenever that video is actually finally finished and edited and released in, like, a month after this one. <laughs>